and salutations, and welcome to another episode of Majora's Mask. In the last episode, we got here to the Gerudo Pirate Fortress, rescued some eggs, got the hook shot, and then took the eggs back and didn't do a whole lot else. But hey, we scared some pirate ladies, and that's always fun, right? Right? Right. Uh, just so I can look around and show y'all where we are a little bit in the uh, Pirate Fortress. This is the very entrance where you have the four guarding in the boat, and we're actually going to hook shot, take our brand new little toy. And take a nice little shortcut so we don't have to go through that little dungeon, mingy nudgeon thing anymore. Shortcut, and as you can see, we are derp link at the moment. You know what? This is just another transformation mask. This is the fourth transformation mask in the game. Derp. Derp link. Return of derp. I don't know where I'm going with that. I'm just gonna call it a transformation mask, because, yeah. There are actually technically five transformation masks, not to spoil anything. If you can figure, I mean, if you already know what, then and I'm not really spoiling anything. But if you don't know what, then it's just gonna entice you to keep watching, which I'm okay with. And I just broke my legs, poor little Link. Uh, all right. So this is where I'm probably gonna get lost. There are two eggs left to find, and hopefully we can find them fairly quick. The place is a, it's a little bit smaller than uh, the Gerudo Fortress in Ocarina Time, which I've talked about too much, honestly. So I need to stop that. All right, dead end over there. So I guess we need to go up here. Hey, lady. What's up? Gonna walk right past you like nothing. Alright. So here we're gonna find the third egg. After we beat the pants off an of orange hooker here. We're not fooled by that mask. Yeah, no, you're not fooled by the mask. <laughs> if you swing soon enough, you can get that early hit in on him pretty easily. Alright. No. No. Is this is where I'm gonna actually start having trouble. Right. Did that hit her that time? I didn't see. You can use Deku Nuts, but I have a lot of trouble using them on in these fights for some reason. I mean, that's the the go-to for uh, the Ocarina Time ones. Oh, where that time? Like you gotta time everything just right, and I I can appreciate the fights being a, a harder like that. I honestly, can. Ugh, don't think it ends here. Yeah. I don't know what that accent was, but why not? We'll call it Desert Pirate Lady. Desert Pirate Lady. That makes perfect sense. That's their accent, apparently. Oh, we got... What the crap is that thing? Looks like Satan's goldfish. <laughs> uh, what am I doing? Uh, empty bottle and Zora mask. herp -der. I'm still... Okay, I'm not wearing the derp transformation mask anymore, so I can... Do this and... Dang it! I keep forgetting to put stuff on buttons. You heard me. There's a treasure chest in this one. I wonder what it could be. <laughs> uh, okay. So, this thing's actually pretty easy. You just dump, ju dump, you dump in. You jump in and just do your little electric shield thing and it disappears after a while. So, that one's actually a bit easier than the clams of death. Oh, hey, look, a red ruby. How, how nice. <laughs> Alright, so egg number three. Put a Zora egg in the bottle. It love it. It love it. It Wonderful! Wunderbar! Alright. So now switch out our items back to our crawling around the pirate fortress items. Which are the hook shots, derp mask, and... Well, really, that's it. Uh, we'll just leave the Zora mask on one of them just for the hell of it. I guess technically you could equip your bow and arrow in case you need it, but when you have the derp mask, you don't really need it. Alright. So there's only a few places left to go, so we only have one egg left, so hopefully I'm not going to get lost. We'll see. Uh, we came out that way, correct? So I think if we go up there, maybe that's where we need to go. No, t t no, no. T hook, hook, hook shot to the... Th thank you. <laughs> that note was a little low. I don't even know if you can even hear it on the recording. Oh, hey, look, a pirate. What am I ever going to do to sneak past her? I have no idea. Let's roll into the barrel. You got to think they notice a barrel just, like, spontaneously combusting near them. What are they guarding? I must know. Holy balls! It's not a, it's not a red ruby. Silver ruby, 100 rubies, yeah! That maxes out our rubies. 
It means I'm probably gonna go to Clock Town and deposit them before I start the dungeon. Oh, hey, look, I, I, I did so much better than I thought I was going to with this. Honestly, I thought we were gonna have a whole video of me just, like, cussing at the fact that I was lost. Yeah, I know the mask doesn't trick you, you purple hooker. Ah, I didn't get that early hit in. Yep, it up! Alright, I need the deck of nuts. It worked decently last time, so maybe it'll work this time. There you go. Yeah. Oh! Man, you guys are sucking this time. Usually I don't get nearly this lucky. Oh, crap. How, how the hell did I block that shield behind me? Ha 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 ha! Not bad, but don't think it ends here. I cannot believe I actually did as well on that that I, that I did. That's like the first time the the all the times I played this game I did that well. So I hope you guys appreciate it. Ah. All right. And for the last egg, thank God. Equip our egg snatching equipment. Crap! I'm wearing the dirt. Get off of me, dirt face. I do not need you at the moment. And jump in here and don't die. That's the important part, not to die. No, don't. Okay, there we go. Open your mouth. Come, come on. There's a good little clam death. <laughs> clam death. That's the name of those enemies. No, it's not. It's not those at all. You put a Zora egg in a bottle. Yay. And that is the last egg of Gerudo's Fortress. Thank good. We can get out of this place now. Alright. Jibbit! it up! Alright. Come out here and I'm gonna equip the ocarina and the stone face so we can get out of this place. I'm going to meet y'all actually back at uh, the Zora Hall area. So I will see you then. Hey guys, we're back and as you can see we're actually in front of the uh, place in front of Zora Hall where you can break all the pots for rubies and it's night so this place is crawling with like likes. Oh my gosh, look at all these horrible gelatinous blobs of bleh. Ugh, I hate like likes. Lever! I hate them almost as much as I do levers! Leave me alone, levers! <laughs> so many freaking like likes. No. You get away! You get away from me and you die. Or you melt into nothingness. Alright, before I go and turn those eggs in, I'm actually gonna do something real quick because uh, if you remember they said that there are a total of seven eggs, and we only have two bottles, and we have to go to... Remember, if, the, if you remember, the pirates are talking about uh, the place with the sea snakes. It has the other three eggs, and to make sure we don't go two trips, I'm going to hookshot up here if it'll let me. Seriously, am I not close enough? I just don't want to get close that like, like. There we go. No, there we don't go. Dang it. Carefully. There we go. So we're... Oh, so much fail. We're going to hookshot up here and get a new bottle, actually. And something else, which I'm not going to spoil quite yet, because why the hell not? I believe you can actually hookshot onto these vines that are on here as well. Let me test that theory. I think that's coming up. I believe you can... Oh, uh, nope. That's weird. Huh. Strange. What? Seriously, can't reach up? Alright, but yeah, we're gonna do this uh, before going and turn those eggs in so we can maximize our time here. We're already up to, what, about nine, nine and a half minutes? A little bit over that. So, just to give you a little warning, this episode may end up being a little long, but we'll see. I'll try to make it in optimal time. If I can frickin' hit the trees! Oh my, it's taking me like two minutes to get up here. Seriously? Thank you! What? What? That doesn't even make sense. Hit the tree. Thank you. Jeez, what is with this game and frustrating me? You know what? I'm not even going to try and cheat from this distance. I'm going to need as close as I possibly can to this and not jump off. So I can hit the freaking tree and get this done with. Good gosh. Good gosh. Alright. So walk in here, Waterfall Rapids, very pretty little area. You can see there's some beavers swimming around. Well, again, one of the few new uh, 
sprites for this game. We're gonna switch into Azora. I love how I just don't have periods in my sentences at all anymore. We're gonna talk to Mr. Beavertail there. No, talk, 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 and magically jump up on the ledge for no reason. Game! Come on. There you go. Yeah, if you see target on me, usually flips down to the bottom and you can talk to him there. Exactly what we're gonna do. Sink like a Goron, Link. There you go. And talk to the beaver. You again. You can't fool me with your green clothes. I've never been here before, man. You want an empty bottle, don't you? You'd never learn your lesson. Ah, I get it. I get it. So Mikhail came here before he uh passed untimely. Gonna swim through all the rings in the river in under two minutes. So do you wanna try? Sure. Now a lot of people say this is one of the harder parts of this game, or at least they have to me. I don't really get it. This is fairly easy if you don't screw up. They give you plenty of time to do this. And uh, even though they do refer to it as a race in the game, it's not a race. You just have to keep up and go through these rings. That's the main thing. You don't have to actually like get ahead of them. So, not technically a race, honestly. Or at least I don't think so. What, what is the definition of race in terms of, you know, speed competition? Not races. Okay, you guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right. So again, they make it pretty easy. There's a few little sharp turns you can do, and I feel like this game was put in here honestly just to show off the uh, swimming controls. This game would be so much more hard, or this little mini game would be so much more hard if it weren't for the fantastic swimming controls that this game has. All right. And through this one. And this one. Yeah. I put it like this, there have been times where I've gotten screwed up and stuck at the beginning for like a minute almost and still can beat it. It's crazy how much time they give you compared to how much time you actually need. The beeping over the timer kind of stresses you out a little bit, but you have plenty, plenty of time. As you can see, I'm almost done and I have a full 50 seconds left. It's, yeah, this should be no problem. I don't see why people say it's so hard. Maybe that's just a uh, localized thing, because when I say people, I don't mean like forums on the internet or anything like that, but friends that I know that I've played this game say this is hard. My sister says this is hard, and I don't know why. Uh, that was perfect. Thank you. That's not good. Boy, that's not good. That's awesome. Did you call me, little brother? I called you, big brother. Actually, what? An empty bottle? Yeah, an empty bottle. Don't worry, little brother. To us, empty bottles are a treasure. Wonderful. I can't give you one just because you beat my little brother. Screw you. Yes, you can. We can't just give you one. I'll give you one after you race once more against me. So we try it. Yeah, I guess we have to, don't we? The rules are the same, but this time there are 25 rings. Don't fall behind. Yay. This is the only one I ever fell on. I never fell on the first one. I have failed on this one before because if you get stuck in one place and just keep messing up, you can actually fail, but even then, it's usually only about... A second or two, you'll run out of time. Yeah, but Again, it's not a race. You just have to keep up with them. Trust me. A lot of people, I, they even refer to it in the game as a race, and I don't know why. Now, this one is a little bit harder, obviously. Uh, he, the rings are put in so where you really have to follow the exact same track he takes. And uh, that can be a little bit more difficult, honestly. I hope I didn't miss a ring right there. No, I didn't. Okay. Uh, but it's still fairly easy with these controls. These controls make everything in this game. Uh, this mini game, I mean, not the game in general. And down the ring! Wonderful. The ones where you have to jump out of the water are actually a little bit harder, but still not just stupid hard or anything. These are where you have some pretty sharp turns, but there's nothing to get in your way or anything. Nothing to obstruct you. So, yeah. I put it like this. There are many mini games in this game so far that I've been able to com uh, commentate through and still do alright, but I'm going to beat this almost perfectly uh, and commentate all the way through it. Uh, you know, I haven't had much dead space during this mini game. If you guys think you can beat my time, then by all means, post a video and I'll. Uh, the moon is looming over me. That's scary. Uh, post a video of you beating it, and I'll accept it as a video response if you like. He did it, little brother. Yeah, he did it, big brother. There's nothing we can do, little brother. 
Da 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 da. This is a mess, big brother. And we get our third empty bottle to save items in it and use it with C. Yay, we underestimated you. They bow in respect. Alright, so we're going to walk out and come back in and do this one more time. And the reason is we get another prize for doing it. Uh, we have to race the little brother and the big brother once more. And I'm actually going to speed that up so we don't... This is alright, we still got a bit to do in this episode. And I don't want it to be, you know, 45 minutes long or anything. So we're going to speed this up. And uh, if I can find the dang beavers, where are you? Are you at the bottom? I bet you're at the bottom. Beavers! Let you guys go. Seriously, where'd they go? Are they over here? There they go. <laughs> that was weird. I swear last time I played this, they were in the water. Like, the second time around. He's back, little brother. Yeah, he's back, big brother. But we don't have any more empty bottles, do we, little brother? No, we don't have any, big brother. If you say you still want to race, though, that's fine. What will you do? Yeah, we're going to race, and we're going to kick your ass one more time. First, you have to start my little... Yeah, we got to go all through it again. So, again, I'm going to speed this up and maybe play some music in the background. I'll see you when I'm done. As you, uh, if you could see it, I don't know how fast I sped it up, but if you could see it, I actually had a little mess up there at the end of the second one. And it still had plenty of time to finish, so that's how easy it is. Oh, if only every community game in this game was this easy. Yeah, it wouldn't be that much fun, honestly. I want to quit, big brother. Aw, be a quitter with your spinning poker chip eyes. You got a piece of a heart, you can let two bits up, I can let two more dead your life energy. Yeah! Please let it be over. Yeah, it's over. No, don't jump back in the water. For some reason I thought it started me outside. Alright, so now that, now that that is over, we can actually continue on. And we have one more thing that's actually going to take a minute. I really hope this episode doesn't end up being horribly long. Uh, but first we're going to go back to the observatory and uh, turn our eggs in. As much sense as that makes. Song of Soaring! Away! And we're back here at the Marine Research Lab. So yeah, not the observatory at all, but why not? Why do I call it the observatory? It doesn't even look like an observatory. Isn't that what the one in Ocarina Time is called? I don't remember. So we're going to turn our eggs in. And then go get the rest of the eggs. Don't take the map, dude. Uh, what? What just happened? Get Turn the eggs in. Thank you. Jeez. Button mashing mistakes. The egg floats down to the bottom like the rest of them. Yay. So that's what a Zora looks like before it's actually born. I always wondered that, not really. Alright, 
So we gotta go find the other three, and if you talk around to some of the NPCs, or really you already know because the pirates, they'll tell you to go, uh, I think it's called Pinnacle Rock, but it's that area over there. But you can't go there because if you go between those two rocks, you'll end up getting lost in the murky water like the pirates said. So to solve this, we're gonna go over here to one of the only two human houses. Well, really, one of the only actually occupied human house in this area. The fisherman's house. And my screen is going to shrink because it's the beginning of the second day. Leavers, leave me alone. Go away. Go away. Nobody loves you. Alright. I'm actually probably going to let the uh, screen shrink, shrink some. In the meantime, I'm going to steal this guy's crops. The, the screen shrinking thing is cool the first time you see it, but honestly, it can get kind of annoying, especially when you're trying to record. Break the... T okay, thank you. Come on. Especially when you have to time slow down. It takes freaking forever. La, run around in circles while my screen shrinks and I wait for the epic dawn of the second day to come. La 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 la. Come on. One more time. You're almost there. <laughs> my quality is not good enough to actually play when the screen is shrunk like this. And. Wait for it. There it is. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours remain. Yay. And again, it'll kind of give you a clue by opening up with a shot of the house here. So we're going to walk in this lovely tiled house and look at the half-naked guy. That's scary. But if it isn't Azora, how have, been, how have things been going lately? Har har, could you be coming to see me because you can't catch any fish? It's not good out there lately. I've been coming back empty-handed myself. Why, I, um, I was almost hoping you were coming to share with me. I ain't sharing crap with you, dude. Although, I do like your tattoos, so that's cool. Right, look at the little golf... Uh, uh, horsefish. Horsefish? Horsefish. We can speak to it. Help me. Please take me back to waters near Pinnacle Rock. Uh, Are you interested in that fish? It's a rare fish. What is with that noise in this game? My god, I've heard it like 70 times now. I caught it swimming around here just off Pinnacle Rock. Since it's rare, I was thinking of selling it. Dude, that thing is, can talk. It's sentient. Why are you keeping it as a pet? You sick, sick bastard. Do you have a pictograph of the female pirates? Ah, oh, you pervert, too. So I remember a while back, or not a while back, it was just an uh, episode ago, when we were in the... What am I getting the Great Fairy Mask out for? I'm going to take a picture of myself in the Great Fairy Mask and just pass it off. I remember I got a picture of that there Garuda pirate? Well, this is why. And hopefully he'll take it. Oh, that's it, that's it. I had a picture like that. Well, aren't you a crafty one? Yeah, yeah. Using a little bit of foresight there. Yeah, I'll give it to you, you nasty fisherman dude. Just give me the fish. Seahorse! That's what I was looking for earlier. Not horse fish. <laughs> Take it to its home at Pinnacle Rock. <laughs> what the crap is a horse fish? Ugh. Alright, so we're gonna go now that we have that, we can actually make it all the way to Pinnacle Rock. Get away, lever. Ugh, I hate levers. Come on. It's the water. Yeah. This area is... The only reason I love this area so much is because of the water and because of the awesome swimming controls. Whee! Dolphin time! Okay. Hey, look, Azor. Let's go talk to him. Hey, Cal, haven't you seen... Haven't you seen any gold-colored fish around here? Gold colored fish know this area very well. I was thinking of getting one to guide me to Pinnacle Rock. If the water wasn't so murky, I wouldn't have to rely on the guidance from a gold colored fish. Well, luckily enough, we happen to have a horse fish. Yeah, I'm calling it that. So what? Screw, screw you guys. We're going to come over to Pinnacle Rock and we're going to use our new horse fish. You heard me. To guide our way through to the, or through the murky waters. So this is a little weird. You let him out of the bottle and look at this. He's like bigger than you. What? You have strange... I must have strange powers. I'm able to fit you in a bottle, dude. Alright, so... Follow the fisher here. The horse fish. Go! Yeah, and don't don't get lost, because that will happen easily. It's real. I actually don't suggest swimming through this area. I suggest running, because he'll wait on you. But you can overshoot these little stopping points here pretty easily and end up having to start over, which is super ass annoying. Dear, dear, dear. Uh, come on, almost there. The way he swims is kind of goofy, and is that how seahorses actually swim? 
I have no idea how a seahorse swims, and I'm not ashamed of that fact. Here in the depths of Pinnacle Rock live many dangerous sea snakes. My friend is trapped in there. His friend. Remember that. Link, can you please find a way to rid the air of all the sea snakes and help my friend? Yeah, I'm sure you were looking for your friend there. So, here's kind of an annoying little part, and I'm debating speeding this up. Because, whoa, hello. Because it's kind of monotonous and tedious, and we're already up to uh, probably about 25 minutes. So, I'm probably going to beat this first one, and then speed up uh, the rest. All you really have to do is kill these sea snakes, and there are several holes, and, I'll, and I'm going to kill all of them in here, because you really have to. And, uh, like I said, I'll kill this first one on camera and then speed up, because it's just a little monotonous, and you guys don't want to watch that, or at least I wouldn't. But anyways, you get close enough for him to come out of the hole, and then you just boomerang his oddly exposed body. And just like that, with two hits, he shrinks into non-existence. Yay. And for killing this first one, we actually get our first prize, an egg. Know that they will not all be eggs, uh, some are rubies and all that, but just trust me and kill all of them. What I usually do is uh, start at the bottom here and work my way up, just kind of spiral my way up. Alright, so now that I've explained it and killed one on camera, I'm going to speed up, so I'll see you guys in a minute. And we're back, and as you can see there, that was the last one to beat, and we found the seahorse's friend. So yay for that. Whoa, don't don't swim out of the hole. Come, come on, back. There we go. And we're going to completely ignore them for a second and go get this egg, because that's what we need. Dude, dive. Thank you. And we finally got the last Zora egg. Hooray! Now let's go talk to the horse fishes. <laughs> I'm gonna do that on purpose from now on. Thank you, Link. This is a symbol of our deepest gratitude. And they start, like, kissing in the background. Yeah, they're not friends. I don't know if that was, like, if in the Japanese version it was, uh, they actually said they were lovers or something like that, and then America censored it or something, but it always kind of struck me as odd that they say, look for my friend, and they end up kind of making out in the background. But, ah, uh, whatever. So we're gonna come out here and swim directly into the murky water. Pushed back out to Pinnacle Rock here. Yay. And we're go What? No, don't swim back in. What? Okay. Yeah, I meant to do that. Yeah, yeah, go colorfish. We, we, we're ahead of you there on that, man. I'm gonna go back up here to the research lab, excuse me, not the observatory. I really don't know where I got observatory from. I wanna say that's what the one in Ocarina of Time was called, but I may be wrong. Dolphin! See if I can do this. Yep. Nope. Concussion. Chuck test. Alrighty. Up here, and we've got the last three eggs to turn in. Thank goodness. 
this long little side thing is finally finished. I hope I keep this video to a decent length. No more than 30 minutes, but I think I'm probably going to go over that. We shall see. Bloop. There we go. And down the egg goes. The animation for this is a little too long, honestly. But oh well. Alright, one more. And we finally get to finish this. Yay, I'm super, super serial excited, y'all. <laughs> uh, I don't know what that was. Go growing delirious. Alright, and now that all the eggs are down... Good, all the eggs have been brought together. It's going to start. Quick, come to the front of the aquarium. This is a nice, funny little scene here, too. And the eggs blow up and hatch into the cutest little baby Zoras ever. Look at the little baby Zoras. They really are kind of cute, aren't they? I wish I want a plushie made out of them. Well, I mean, not made out of them, but yeah. <laughs> What's the look on their face? Oh, hey, look, music notes. Who didn't see that one coming? What does this mean? What in the world could this mean? I've got it. Don't you understand the way these Zora children have lined up? It means... It means what? You don't... Don't you have some kind of instrument? Yes, I have some kind of... I have a guitar. That doesn't work for some reason. Why, why are you not... What? Why, why are you not taking my guitar? I'm literally inside the tank. What? What? Why isn't this working? There we go. I guess I had to pull out in front of the dude lady thing. Heh! <laughs> Rhythm! Messed up controller and everything. Suck it! Fate. <laughs> or whatever messed up my controller. Do do do. As much as I love this uh, scene with the cute little baby Zors and all that, this is my least favorite song in this game. I really don't like it, honestly. I can see where they're going for, and I feel like it could have been better, but I don't think it quite lives up to the Zelda standard of music, if that makes sense. You learn the new wave bossa nova. It's the melody taught by the Zora children that invigorates singing voices. Bring it on! The dude just freaks out. Yes, it's that instrument. Hmm, if these Zoras are born to teach this song, then hurry! You must play the song for the Zora who laid these eggs. You know what that means. It means we're gonna cut this episode because it's been really long and I don't want it to be stupid long for people, so... Thank you for watching today. I highly appreciate it. I am John Johnson. As always, leave a like if you like, don't if you don't. And comment, tell me what I did wrong, right, or whatever. Subscribe if you want to see more. Have a good day. Appreciate y'all.